Hey everyone, this is Gary from the PhotographyExpress.com, and today I want to show you what Lightroom is and the basic functions of Lightroom for photographers. This is going to be a series of five videos, about five minutes each, and I believe this will be the perfect resources for those of you who are starting out in photography and wants to learn what Lightroom is in the shortest amount of time. So without any further delay, let's move on. To begin, if you have no idea what Lightroom is, it is a photo editing software designed for you to edit pictures in high volumes. So you can basically think of it as an organizational database for your pictures. You may also wonder why we are not using Photoshop. This is a great question. And the answer to this is Photoshop is usually used for um, doing heavy duty editing work, whereas Lightroom is doing the basic edits by batches. But uh, don't get me wrong, by basic, I don't mean you only edit simple items and that's it. I mean, Lightroom, it doesn't let you deal with layers and you cannot swap people's head in the images like you can do in Photoshop. And that's the main difference. So there are a few things I want you to learn in Lightroom before we head to the actual program. The first thing is you don't need to know every single function in Lightroom. However, I'm going to show you how to edit pictures just like, like a professional photographer in the next five videos. And secondly, all the edits that you make in Lightroom are non-destructive. I'm going to show you that in just a second, so bear with me. For the actionable items, we're going to go over the two main modules that you use the most in Lightroom. And secondly, we're also going to go step by step the importing and exporting process of a photo. So let's head on to the actual Lightroom program. So this is Lightroom. If you look at the top right hand corner, you have seven modules. The library and the development or the develop module is what you're going to spend 99% of the time in Lightroom. We're going to go over that in the next video. So we'll skip that for now. Um, but I'm going to show you how to import and export a photo first. So to import a photo, you go to file and then import photos and video. And then you're going to find the folder where you store your image. You're going to highlight the image and click import. But let me show you one more thing. If you see at the top, you have three options. So you have copy, move, and add. So what the copy option does is for your source picture in your folder, it's going to copy another copy and move it to the destination folder. So at the end, you will have two images uh, one in each folder. For the next option, the move option is going to move your source picture from uh, the original folder to your destination folder. So at the end, you only have one picture and that's what that function does. For the add, it's going to add your photo to a catalog without you moving them. So for now, let's do a copy import. So your pictures now is in Lightroom. And just say you finish all your editing and you want to export your picture. All you have to do is go to File, Export, and usually I'll just rename it and I'll click Export and that's it. But let me show you one more thing. Remember we talked about um, Lightroom, all your edits that you make is non-destructive. So let's do something really crazy here. Just say I'm going to make some crazy adjustment. So right now, you may think, oh, this is really messed up. But let me show you. If you right click on the picture here, and then show in Finder, your source photo is still unharmed because Lightroom store your edits in a uh, different file, which is called the catalog file. So um, everything's still safe. You can still make further changes from your source picture. But let me show you one more step. Just say you accidentally export your photo to the destination folder. And you may think, oh, this is really, really messed up. I have no turnaround with this. But no, you're still fine. Let me show you. If you right click on this picture again, and then show in Finder, you will see your source picture is still here. And what you export is just a JPEG picture because um, I told Lightroom to export as a JPEG. so that's actually two different files. So this is the beauty of Lightroom. Nothing is harmed and you can still make edits to your original picture. 
So this is all I want to show you today in lesson one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my blog at thephotographyexpress.com for the show notes. And I will see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.